Grape Myrtles. Grape Myrtles. Pretty flowers. They're named crepe myrtles because of these flowers, because they're like crepe paper. So if you went to school in the 21st century, first world somewhere, or wherever, crepe paper, maybe you know about that. And myrtle, apparently there's some kind of other plant named myrtle, I don't know about that. I was wondering if there was a moaning myrtle connection. Sometimes people call these plants creep murder. It's kind of a common thing. I'm going to show you why. Let's just check out this plant. Mm. Alright, they got this smooth bark. It sheds these bark. And it'll be a really pretty tri-colored sort of a thing, kind of like those eucalyptus. There's a lot in the Bay Area or in Australia. They get those tri-color, but these really smooth stalks in here. And then we've come in here, you can see we've cut this back over and over. Get these thick knots and then cut it back to there. And so that's where they get the name Crepe Murder because of how heavily people cut them back. You don't need to, but a lot of us do. They'll flower better if you do. And generally in the spring, something about when they just start sending out shoots and then cut them back, and they're supposed to do better, but they tend to bloom either way. These really, really pretty flowers, but so yeah, we got all ours cut back. We cut these back this year. It's a nice wood, sometimes it's used for the wood as kind of a timber. A pretty solid wood. I always feel like I should make something out of these shoots. You know, at least make some dodecahedrons and hang them around. Just something. They're so straight and hard. Good wood. Helped build kind of a fence of a wood pile in the back. And so we got ours down here and they grow up. You know, a bit taller than I am, and then our neighbors have one that grows up above it, and they kind of seem like one plant. But again, it flowers. A lot of people cut them, but you don't have to. It's a pretty white one. They do a lot in the reds and yellow kind of spectrum, but no blues, apparently. But these pink ones are real common. They're growing around here in Oklahoma a lot. Really, really pretty flowers. That's all I've ever known about them, you know, pollinators and they're pretty and all this and that. So I did this thing and I just asked, asked the interwebs. Thanks, interwebs. And what I came across. What I came across was generally these flowers are the part used right and uh not to eat them i don't recommend eating them i just did that because i wanted to try it it's the other parts of the plant that are generally used the flowers most common a lot of people said they use them as like a poultice smash them up whatever put them on a wound it's good for dressing open wounds and I got some of those, so I might try some of that out. And I almost didn't look this one up. I thought about it, like, who even cares? I was kind of being a little cynical in my mind. And saying to myself, kind of, who cares? Like, I could look it up, but it probably just cures, like, cancer and diabetes and whatever. And lo and behold, I don't know that you can use the C word. Can you use the C word? Cures cancer? I think that's still a faux pas or a felony or something. I don't know. Anywho, those were on the list. 
Most people just talked about the flowers and that it's useful for wounds. Again, I don't recommend eating them. I recommend don't do what I say, don't do what I do, look into stuff, figure out your own path, follow your own heart, come on. Or talk to a doctor, emergencies, call the doctor. And the who, so I looked it up. <clears throat> There's a few things, it's from tropical Asia, it's really common in Europe and North America kind of naturalized and is part of the Royal Botanical something award-winning flowers. So that's cool. It does pretty well here with the clay. If you got really clay soils, this one tends to do pretty well and grows semi-wild around here. It's really nice as a border kind of plant or by roads and this and that, fences, fence lines. So I looked up these people, healthbenefittimes.com. Again, I'm not telling you all these things. They're saying these things. I have to make this a video. The Dr. Oz disclaimer, the not Oz disclaimer. I'm not Dr. Oz. I'm not telling you how things are. Don't trust me. Don't believe me. Because I say it doesn't make it true. I'm not Dr. Oz. Come on. I'm like a kid giving a school report. I looked into it and here's what I found. Cite my source healthbenefittimes.com and they said, well it's bitter, so probably digestive. They say health benefits. It says prevent cancer cells growth, maintain bones health, beneficial for constipation, overcome inflammation, overcome stroke, overcome diabetes, overcome diarrhea, work as antivirus, antivirus, prevent premature aging, antidote for high blood pressure, antidote for high blood pressure level cure for urinary conditions avoid thrombosis prevent heart attack prevent arteriosclerosis disease decrease the level of blood cholesterol uh, maintain skin health overcome leukemia overcome coughing up blood, overcome toothache, decrease the bleeding on labor, release the toxicity from the blood, overcome kidney stone. <laughs> Nobody else. Everyone else said flowers are good for wounds. These guys just, that's a fat list. And look them up, betterhealthbenefittimes.com if you want to know more about that. They have lists of why. Uh, those things are claimed, what actions are producing those effects. I feel like you're Chinese, whoever you are, whoever wrote this. Some of their other writing, just syntax and stuff, it seems Chinese. And that makes me wonder, because generally the Chinese were really, really great about keeping records of health benefits of herbs, the traditional Chinese medicine thing. They kept really great records, and I feel like you guys are Chinese. Partly to do with that. So, anywho. Um, yeah, crepe myrtles. That's a whole list of things. Like I said, I'm not telling you it does these things. That's some things to look into if you got diabetes or heart conditions or cancerous growths or coughing up blood. Do you ever been there? Mm, mm, that's never fun. So yeah, some pretty cool potential medicines. I feel like usually it's the leaf and the bark that's used. There's a few different types. This is Lagerstromia, possibly. At least that's what they're talking about here. Lagerstromia indica. There's a few different varieties. <clears throat> and yeah, I was just gonna make one and say, hey, beautiful flowers, pollinators, this and that, hedges, edges of stuff. Lo and behold, these guys got a huge list of things that it helps with. So, you know, that could be really helpful. Maybe, maybe not. Once more, I'm not telling you it's going to do any of those things, but, you know, maybe look into it. If you're sitting around with cancer or diabetes, maybe check this one in. If you got this growing around you, maybe it'll help. And possibly antivirus, too, that popped out. I'm finding a few around, and I don't know how much the world is really looking for plants that are antiviral. 
all around us when there's all this hullabaloo about this virus and that we need pharmaceuticals and not saying we don't, maybe we do, but have we exhaustively researched nature around us? Because I would have had no idea this one antiviral. I don't know that it works on that virus, but maybe it does, you know? So just, yeah, extra little, hey, maybe let's check that out. Well, instigate me possibly. If you're a scientist, maybe you could find that out. And wouldn't that be handy because it's grown all over? Maybe the solution's in the Amazon. Maybe it's, you know, oregano and mushrooms, crepe myrtles, who knows? I do know a really, really beautiful flower. Just gonna keep showing you that. It forms these little balls after they flower. They kind of split apart. I feel like maybe that's the calyxes splitting apart. Again, don't quote me on anything. If you do, that's your fault. Really, really pretty flowers. Those the the stamen the stamens and then stigmas are kind of curly. Is that right? Maybe. I'm asking you. I'm gonna say things like I'm saying things. It's all a question. I'm just learning. I'm like a kid giving a school report. Not Oz. But again, beautiful plant and that. Uh, even that bark, it doesn't look that nice right now, but nice tricolored bark. Cool plant to have around. Maybe you can build stuff with it, use it for something. I don't know, the pollinators love it. So there it is. Crepe myrtle.